If you're looking for an inexpensive dual action polisher, either to get started in your polishing or as a backup for your detailing business, I just found this option right here. This is the WorkPro 9 amp 15 millimeter throw dual action polisher and this thing retails on Amazon for under $85. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox this thing, really kind of check it out, check out the build quality, all that kind of good stuff, and then I will throw it on a vehicle just to get my first impressions of this unit. This isn't gonna be a longevity test here, guys. This is me actually just using it for the first time today. I just really wanna get an idea of how this thing feels um, and go from there. So first things first, let's go ahead and pop this thing open, show you exactly what it comes with, and then we'll look at the uh, unit itself. Okay, guys, so here we go, opening up the box, Right off the bat, we have a bunch of pads, which is really nice. For that 80, sub $85 price, you get pads, uh, you get a microfiber towel, which is funny that they give you one microfiber towel. There's really nothing you can do with that, but I, you know, I guess it's just an added bonus for uh, the listing on Amazon. But um, as far as the pads go, uh, they give you three just flat orange pads, and these are basically are gonna be your polishing, let's say light polishing. You can definitely finish out with these. Um, so you get three of those. Then you get three of the same density, but in a waffle texture. So let me go ahead and open this up real quick so you guys can see that. So you get a waffle texture. I personally never use these, um, so I don't know. I, I have no real opinion on these either way. Um, I always stick to the flatter surface ones like this. Um, and then additionally, you also get a wool pad. Now this wool pad, honestly guys, perfect. I would throw away. It's flimsy, so you're not gonna have a lot of cushion there. The wool, I don't know if it's any good or not, whatever, but uh, I guess if you have a deep scratch and you're just trying to address that one, you could go with this, but personally, I would stick to the foam pads and just toss this away. It's nice to stay included, but I don't see any need for it. Now, additionally, guys, uh, in the bag is going to come the D-ring here, so a handle you can use if you want to. You know, do not have to. Um, I personally don't. I like to just uh, kind of hang on to the, the, the head of the unit here like that. Um, so it comes with that and it also comes with the backing plate. Now the backing plate is five and three quarters wide so you are using six inch pads here. Again, the polisher is a 15 millimeter throw which is my preferred um, uh, throw on a polisher. Typically like the original ones, the, the Porter cables, all that kind of stuff were eight millimeter throws. Um, then we went into the long throw stuff, the 15 millimeter and 21 millimeter. Now there's variations within that, um, but 15 is the best for me. Typically the longer the throw, you're able to correct a little bit faster, but when you have a longer throw, it can tend to bog down or not continually uh, actually, actually keep working. It'll just kind of just shake as opposed to actually spinning on curved surfaces. So the 15 millimeter, in my opinion, is the best all around. And this is my favorite corded polisher here, guys. This is the Max Shine M15 Pro. So again, 15 millimeter throw. This thing's fantastic. I, I abuse these things pretty hard uh, and they just keep on working. So I love this thing. Now I do have a discount code with Max Shine. So if you're interested in this polisher or, or anything else from Max Shine, it's just I'm Josh V15. It'll get you 15% off on their site, at least on the things that aren't on sale. So make sure to check that out. I'll also link it in the description down below for you, as well as this guy here, because at 85 bucks, this thing retails for 210, 215, 85 bucks or sub 85 bucks. So we have a phenomenal value play here, but let's go ahead and take a look at it more in depth. All right, really quickly guys, just wanna interrupt this video. I just finished filming, but I realized, you know what? I don't personally need this thing. I bought it on Amazon. I'd be happy to give it to you one, to one of you guys who is in more need of this than I am. Comment down below, and then also go over to my Instagram, comment there as well. I will choose a winner uh, in a few days. Now again, remember, I do not ask for anything from you. Um, there's always a scam on, on YouTube where uh, if I'm doing a giveaway, people will use my picture and then it'll say text me at telegram or some other name saying I, I have a gift for you or you won and then they will ask you to send money to cover the shipping. I do not do that at all. Um, I will give you the unit and I will pay for the shipping to get to you. You have to be in the US. Um, I, I don't ship international for it, but um, it's 100% free, so don't fall for any scams. Also guys, you do have to be subscribed to the channel, so make sure you subscribe, uh, follow along here. I have a bunch more videos coming up, An another value uh, polisher coming up, so that's exciting, and then testing a bunch of vacuums and all that kind of good stuff, all your car detailing content. So make sure you're subscribed, go follow me on Instagram, comment on both, and I'll select a winner. Let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so right off the bat, I do, I prefer a five inch backing plate so I can run a slightly smaller pad. That's just my preference. Um, I usually use the Rupez pads, the blue, yellow, and white. That's their DA pads, their foam. And I love those things. They, they kind of taper out onto a five inch backing plate and kind of flare out to a six inch. This won't work with that because these pads are an actual six inch pad. 
and they fit pretty tight on here. So, I mean, it's accurate. Go and line that up. So there you go. It's, I mean, you see there's not a lot of material left over. You do want to center that as much as possible so that it stays as balanced as possible. Um, so I don't know, not a negative or a positive. It's just my personal preference would be switching this out with a five inch backing plate. And, and you should be able to do that because it seems like a pretty traditional spindle here. Now, this thing comes with a nine foot power cord. I measured it, it's about nine feet. Um, it does also have a trigger and a trigger lock. So it's nice, you can hear it. So that's nice. There's no grip to it. Again, the other polishers do have grips typically. Doesn't bother me that it doesn't. I, I have no issue with that. Um, it does have a nice grip on the back. One thing that I will say that I don't like, or just seems like the build quality was a little bit rough and not, not as refined as some others, is that this is your trigger lock right here, right? And as you can see, it's like already recessed in. So you push it and you kind of have to get your finger in there. And then when you push it, as you can see, it's sitting recessed in there. So um, not the best designed or, or uh, not the best executed there, but again, pretty nitpicky. I mean, I can still get it to function without any problem. So you just hold it, push it in, it trigger locks, and then to release. Now this thing also has a soft start. So let me go ahead and plug this in for you and show you that. Um, it does not have a progressive trigger, meaning where you can just put it on full speed and then just adjust the speed with, your, with the trigger. It does not have that. You do have to use the function of the uh, uh, power selector on the back. But again, it does have a slow start, which is nice so that you're not just immediately turning it on and having product fling everywhere. It kind of will help to reduce that. So here's what I mean. Yep. So again, slow start. Now let's go ahead and go through this real quick. Now I will say, oh, I unplugged. Uh, the selector is textured, which is nice, and you can hear it click between, um, between the speeds. So here you go, let me try and get it close to the microphone. So again, you can hear it click and you can feel it click as well, which I do prefer. Sometimes you don't feel anything and you're kind of guessing where you're at. You have to look down with this. You can really get an idea of where you're working with. Once you're using this a lot, you can kind of get familiar to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off on speed number one. Sometimes there's not a lot of variance between one, two, three, you know, like, so it is important to check this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're on speed one. I'm gonna turn it on and trigger lock it and then we'll start going through. So there's one. We'll go up to two. Oh, that's one and a half and there's a good difference. Two, so very precise. Two and a half, three. Three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six. So it feels very, very precise in that um, uh, speed selector. Sometimes, like I said, you're, you're going through and you're like, man, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's changing. This changed every half speed. So from one to one and a half to two, two and a half, there's difference in all of that. Now, as far as the polisher feels, um, Weight wise, man, let me see here. Let me grab the M15 Pro. Yeah, extremely similar. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's a difference in weight, but it is very, very similar. So we'd be nitpicking, not an issue there. Uh, another benefit of this polisher, which the M15 has as well, um, but it has side access to the brushes. So this is the only thing that typically will, will go out on a polisher is the brushes. It's basic, screw that off. You can access the brushes, they give you extras, so you're able to replace those when you need to. Now another thing to note on the build quality is, um, I mean, this isn't lining up perfectly. Uh, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's nitpicky, right? For $85, what do you expect? And I think for what I would expect from $85, this ex exceeds it a, a, a ton. Like I think it's, for 85 bucks, man, this thing's incredible. So not too heavy, nice, you know, nice grip. Um, my preferred is to have the trigger there and the trigger lock on the right-hand side, so I just can hit it with my thumb. It's got that. Um, the variable speed is very, very precise. Uh, the fact that you can access the brushes is fantastic. Now, another cool thing that I want to note before we go out and, and actually use it to see how much vibration there is in it, um, they do have within their instructions, this is really, really cool. They have a little guide that lets you know for whatever extension cord you're using, um, what gauge you should go with and, and the amps that you're gonna pull 
throughout it. So uh, I'm not gonna go over this in too much depth here. I'm just letting you know that it does have it in the instructions. So if you do get this machine, just check that out. I think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, head outside to my van. I'm just gonna polish the door and a little bit of the fender just to see how it feels. Again, not a long-term longevity test, not a long-term test on how fatiguing it is over time, but just quick stuff, because I think that's what this is gonna be more for, um, is the people that are getting started in this or as a backup to your normal machine. Um, Already, as a backup, guys, it's a home run. I think it's a fantastic choice uh, for the price. You can't beat it. Um, I would swap out the backing plate but, and get different pads. These pads are fine. If you're, if you're starting to, uh, just starting out, they'll do the job. They're just, the density is okay. I don't know if, you know, I'm sure they're not the most expensive pad. And then the Velcro backing is quite thin. I have a feeling that's gonna fail pretty quickly. Um, but again, for now, it's nice that they include them because you can get work done with it. Okay guys, so here we are out outside at my van. I'm actually going to be trying out this stuff here along with this. This is Max Shine's new polish, the Shine Max polish. So I'll have, a, again, with that discount code, I'm Josh V, or I'm, oh yeah, I'm Josh V15 on Max Shine's website. Uh, you can try to pick that up. Um, they actually sent this to me, so I don't know exactly how much it is. They sent it to me to try out. Um, and this is the first time I'm trying it on this, on this van, so let's go. So right off the bat, guys, what I have to say is the polisher, again, seems to function very, very well. I did start it. Now, one of the key things to know is when I first started this thing up, I smelt a little bit of a sort of plasticky burnt smell. It's probably just, you know, again, if the build quality is not 100% refined, there's probably a little bit of stuff inside. It burns off and then you're good to go. Uh, but I want to make that clear to you that I, I did smell some burning kind of plastic smell. Um, but it is what it is, right? Putting it onto the car now, onto my van. It functions very, very well. Yes, there is vibration, absolutely. Um, is it terrible? No, can you get a, do a whole car? Yeah, absolutely. Would I wanna polish my entire van using this? Um, as a one step, sure, if I'm doing a two step, if I'm actually doing a full correction, no, my hands are gonna get numb. They're gonna get tired over time from the vibration. But again, for normal waxing, light polishing, one steps, this thing, I don't think you're gonna have any problem with uh, fatigue in the hand. Again, there is a little bit of vibration, but it's not terrible. Now again, I wanted to test the, uh, the, the rotation and if it bogs down or stops actually spinning and just starts shaking on a curved panel. So I'm going onto my fender and I'm going, I'm running it at speed three here just to test and see. And it is bogging down a little bit here. So I throw it up into uh, full speed up at six and no bogging at all. Now this thing says it, it maxes out at 5,500 RPM or uh, yeah, I guess they list it as RPM, not OPM. It's a dual action polisher. So technically it's OPM, which is oscillations per minute, not rotations, but whatever. I don't know, you know how consistent that is across the board for these uh, ratings. Um, what I do know is on that curve section, it wasn't bogging down for me. It worked well. Um, it wasn't the craziest curve uh, on a panel, but I will say at lower, like that, that sort of, indented angle can cause polishers to bog down pretty easily. And this one did at speed three, but not at speed six. And guys, I have to say, as far as the polish goes, it seems good. Uh, again, it's on a white panel. I couldn't really, it didn't seem like there was any dusting um, from the polish, this new Shine Max from Max Shine. Um, but it's on a white panel, it's hard to tell. Uh, but I will say wipe up, when I went to go buff it off, it came right off, it felt really, really good. All that seemed really nice. So, so far I like it. I'm gonna be testing this stuff out more and more. Um, but so far, so good. All right guys, so there you have it. Again, I know it's just a quick test, but just, just to sort of introduce this thing, I'm gonna be playing with this thing a lot more um, and really seeing you know, longevity wise how long it lasts uh, and also kind of playing with it more on a longer period of time so I can really see the fatigue and all that kind of stuff. But like I said guys, $85. I think the polisher looks great. The color combo that they chose is super cool. This nice kind of Nardo gray color with some green, white, and black accents. Looks really good. Um, $85, guys, for me, it's an absolute winner if you're getting started or as your backup. If you're running a business and you want a primary machine, I would spend the extra money and go with a Max Shine or something like that. Um, but I don't know. I mean, if you're really on a pinch, go with this thing first, just from that quick use. I have no problems with it, I like it. Um, again, the tactile feel, the clicking of the trigger, the, the, the uh, speed selector, and, the, and all the precision in the speed selector, it's, it's a good little unit, $85. I would happily pay 
double that for this, 160 bucks or 170 bucks, easily. Um, so at 85 bucks, I think um, I can strongly recommend it, at least in the context of not using it for a long time. Initial impressions, it's a home run. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that helps you. If you've been looking to get into polishing, don't be afraid of it. It's not as daunting as it seems, especially when you're using a polisher like this, a dual action polisher. Um, it's not a rotary polisher. Rotary polishers are geared and just spin like this, like a drill essentially, right? And they cause a lot of heat. This spins freely, and then it's also geared in the back where it, also, it actually rotates around. So that's the motion. It actually creates a shimmying kind of hand motion. And then when you get this into a position where it could burn paint and it would be causing too much heat, that's what keeps it, um, uh, uh, it keeps it from, or prevents it from doing that is that it, it will stop spinning and it'll just shake. So you're not creating all that heat anymore. So very, very safe to use. The dual action polishers are what I use almost exclusively, man. I mean, I probably use a, a rotary polisher less than you know 1% of the time, really. Uh, like, otherwise, I'm using a dual action. So, And again, 15 millimeter is my preferred size. Uh, uh, for the throw. So again, 85 bucks, work pro, link in the description. I hope that video helps you. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.